Low and Artifacts of Mars. And these Hollywood leftists just aren't going to stop. Uh, we'll start off with Rosie O'Dumbell. We have less than three weeks to stop Trump. Mentally unstable Trump, she says. Rosie O'Dumbell did not, didn't waste any time starting off the new year with a favorite activity going after Donald Trump on Twitter. 54-year-old tweeted Sunday that the president-elect is mentally unstable and America has less than three weeks to stop him. Now, just how do you propose to do that? Sounds like a threat to me. It's not the first time, nor the second time or third time, the comedian has attacked Trump. She has previously called him, among other things, the worst representation of what the United States is or could be. No, you're uh, one of the worst representations. Trump and O'Donnell, O'Dumbell have sparred publicly for over a decade, since way back in 2006, when O'Dumbell publicly criticized Trump for refusing to fire disgraced beauty queen Tara Connor, but the few boiled over during Trump's presidential campaign and took center stage during GOP debate on Fox News. Responding to moderator Megan Kelly's question about Trump using derogatory language to insult women, Trump shot back only Rosie O'Dumbell. So, uh, Rosie O'Dumbell isn't the only one who's uh, doing this. Get ready. Well, hopefully this comes up. I may have to refresh it. Uh, here we go. That's right. A group of these Hollywood leftists. Uh, these wacko, insane, nutcase leftists are trying once again to undermine and stop Donald Trump. Not pounds stand up for us. Is there a hashtag? A slew of high-profile stars, including Sally Field, former The View Court co-host Rosie Perez, Westworld's Jeffrey Wright, Keegan Michael Kay, and Boardwalk Empire actor Steve Buscemi are calling on Congress to vigorously oppose any of Donald, President-elect Donald Trump's racist, sexist, anti-immigrant, anti-worker, anti-Muslim, anti-Semitic, anti-environmental policies. Uh, that's not gonna... You're going to have a hard time getting them to do that, actually. But let's look at this in perspective. Rosie O'Dumbell and her cohorts. Well, Rosie O'Dumbell says, let's stop Trump. And these Hollywood leftists are saying, are calling on the Republicans to oppose any of his policies. Which means they're working with the Republicans now, or at least they want to work with the Republicans. Doesn't mean they're working together. We demand that you black nominees who threaten the rights of women, the LGBT community, people of color, immigrants, and poor, key and field say in the video released Tuesday, same day that 115 Congress is supposed to be sworn in. I thought they were going to be sworn in on the 20th, but shows how much I know. The message was asked supporters sign a moveon.org petition to be sent to members of Congress. was created by the social media campaign Humanity for Progress, formerly known as Pro Hillary Hologram Hillary Group Humanity for Hillary. So, right here, we have direct evidence that Hologram Hillary is behind this stuff. Gee. 
What a surprise. They're still trying. They don't care. They are not going to give up. Majority of Americans, regardless of who they vote for, did not vote for racism, sexism, or xenophobia, and yet Donald Trump won. Yeah, I uh, vote for somebody who would uh, start giving governments government out of our faces. That's what they voted for. You Hollywood leftists, uh, you want government to control everything we think and say. You represent us in Congress. Perez told his camera in the video title, Stand Up for Pound Stand Up for Us, directed by Emmy Award winner Liz Garvis. Your last line of defense, author and TV host Janet Mock said, adds, Well, Janet, you deserve to be mocked because you're an imbecile. We want you to know that we are with you, the performers, along with religious and leaders and activists say. We won't remain silent. We will work hard to mobilize our votes in our communities. But we need you and expect you to have our backs, the video participants say. Uh, these are mostly Republicans. Thought you people hated Republicans. The celebs, who also include orange and black, new blacks, Leah Delaria, Olive Ketteridge, star Zoe Kazan, and fashion designer Neem Khan, demand lawmakers protect our civil liberties and use your congressional powers to obstruct and defeat anything that violates our core values as diverse Americans. It means anything that's not communist base, which is what you people are. You are communists, and you are wackos, and you are nutcases. I can't believe that Sally Field... That's uh, right there in black and white. These are wacko nutcase leftists. They hate freedom. They hate America. They hate representative government. Um... Freaking believable. I am artifacts of Mars. Unbelievable. Have a nice day.